Hello friends, uh, this is R. Rajkumar from CRSK Tech Java. So in this session, I am going to show you how to install Weblogic 10.3 application server. In last session, we have seen how to install uh, Weblogic 8.1 application server, then how to create own domain in a Weblogic 8.1 application server, then how to integrate Weblogic 8.1 application server with MyEclipse. In this session, we are going to see how to install Weblogic 8.3 application server then how to create own domain in Weblogic 10.3 application server then how to integrate Weblogic 10.3 application server with MyEclipse so the, in last session we had seen that uh, Weblogic 8.1 in this session we are going to see Weblogic 10.3 so it's the same thing so I given so first we will see first step how to install weblogic 10.3 application server the weblogic application server so 10.3 is a version so already we have seen 8.1 version now we will see the 10.3 version okay so how to first we will see how to install weblogic 10.3 version okay weblogic 10.3 application server then how to create own domain in weblogic 10.3 application server then third step we will see how to integrate weblogic 10.3 application server with my eclipse how to integrate weblogic 10.3 with my eclipse id so one by one we will see okay so you watch this video carefully so it will help you more how to install weblogic 10.3 application server how to create own domain in weblogic application server then how to integrate weblogic application server with my eclipse okay so i have that software weblogic 10.3 you can download this software from any site or you can uh, download from my blogspot crsktech.blogspot.in so so my blogspot uh, crsktech.blogspot.in mail id crsktech.gmail.com so this is uh, my blogspot you can download this software from my blogspot and this is my mail id crsktech.gmail.com if you have any queries or any doubt anything you can send it you can drop a mail to this mail id i will check it once then i will reply to you okay so this is my blog spot crsktech.blogspot.in uh, from this blog spot you, you can download that uh, okay web logic 10.3 uh, application server software uh, so uh, i didn't upload still i will upload soon you can get it from my blog spot you can uh, you can download this software from any site uh, any uh, lot of site they are providing uh, the weblogic 10.3 is uh, okay you can download from any site uh, or you can get it from your friends or uh, i will upload uh, the software soon in my uh, my blogspot then you can download from my blogspot so now we uh, i will show you how to install weblogic 10.3 application server so i have this software packet just to open this folder double click on the folder so it has opened okay so now what you have to do so after open this folder there are two files there there are two files there so you have to open that weblogic 10.3 folder after that you click on this uh, server 103 underscore win32 this is a exe file you have to run this exe, exe file okay this is a weblogic 10.3 software okay just to right click on that then open or double click on the software so double click on this uh, server 103 underscore win32 this is uh, weblogic 10.3 application server software double click on that or okay just to open it so it will take uh, a few seconds to wait You want you can minimize this window. Few seconds. So, so it will take some time to open that uh, uh, so window. We have to wait up to that. So in my channel, uh, uh, I, I upload a lot of videos. So related to Java, JWE. So you can watch this all videos. You can watch those uh, videos it will help you more you can understand if you are not understand let me know uh, so i will upload this video Yeah. 
now it came so click on yes button it will take a few seconds that's all right now minimize this window there is no need okay now so we are going to install the logic 10.3 application server so already uh, so i uploaded uh, some videos uh, how to install the logic uh, 8.1 uh, uh, the version application server that you can watch the same thing but this is a 10.3 version so it will be a little bit different eh? so you watch carefully this video it will help you more how to install the logic 10.3 version just to open the folder double click on that software it will open the window so you follow the instruction So here what you have to do, so click on next button. So the window has opened successfully. Um, okay, one second. So after double click on that uh, uh, weblog 10.3 uh, software, it will open this window. Okay. So you have to click on the next button. Then there are two options is there. Use an existing BEA home or create new BEA home. So if you have existing that home directory, BEA home directory, if you have, if you have existing home directory, so you can use that existing home directory to install this uh, weblogic 10.3 uh, software. Or if you don't have that uh, uh, VA home directory, mean the home directory mean that location folder where you want to install a logic server, that location. Okay, if you have already some uh, uh, location I want to install there, then you can use uh, existing VA home. Or uh, I don't have any location, I want to create new location to install this logic software, then create new VA home directory. Where you want to create? I want to create a G drive. Under G drive, VA8 because already uh, this directory. So we have created for weblogic 8.1 we have installed weblogic 8.1 application server in this location this is a home directory for weblogic 8.3 because ba8 i given for weblogic 8.1 so now i want to install weblogic 10.3 so i want to create new home directory in that home directory i want to in that location i want to install weblogic 10.3 so you can change it uh, ba10 you can do okay so under g drive in G drive, I want to install this weblogic server. Under G drive, I want to create one folder. That folder name BEA10. Under this folder, so I want to install weblogic 10.3 software. So this is a home directory. I mean, where you want to install weblogic server, that is a home directory. So I came in, I want to install weblogic uh, server in this uh, location. So that is a home directory. So you have to provide home directory part. So this is a new one. So I, I have uh, selected to create new BA home directory. Newly I want to create uh, this folder under this location I want to install. If you have existing location, existing path, then you can click the uh, first option, then queue, you can queue the existing path. Then click on next button. Okay, next uh, the option, uh, so complete custom. So complete it as selected by default. Uh, you no need to change that okay so you select uh, complete only so by default it has selected so no problem if it is not selected you select complete okay so then click on next button okay so see that home directory ga ba10 ba10 so uh, so the path web, web logic server workshop everything came okay. you no need to change anything so okay uh, let it be uh, as it is okay so click on next button so whatever default you don't need to change anything leave it as it is okay so click on next button then here there are two options is there all user local users all user start menu folder local user start menu folder here you have to select all user start menu folder by default it has selected so you no need to select anything So 
click on next button and again you don't need to change anything so again click on next button so now it's installing so it will take a few minutes uh, to install the webflowchic 10.3 application server so you need to wait a uh, few seconds so okay so the uh, so this session uh, okay so it will help you more how to install apply how to install that application server uh, without any mistake how to install that uh, weblogic application server without any mistake so you watch this video carefully and uh, we install application server whenever you want to install uh, weblogic application server you can install in your system uh, so you watch carefully and uh, follow the step so and uh, you install the application server in your system so using that application server we can run a web application or an enterprise application or uh, uh, Distributed, distributed application to so the banking application there is a distributed application you can run that uh, ezp application everything using that application server so this is one of the application server so everyone they are using the uh, logic application server so this video will help you more uh, how to install a uh, web logic 10.3 application server so you watch carefully and install application server whenever you want to whenever you want to install in your system you can install but if you follow the instruction the step properly don't do any mistake when you install that application server so so this is how to, uh, next video we next in next session i will show you how to create own domain in weblogic 10.3 application server So it will take few seconds uh, to complete. So after that, it will. So uh, it will take a few seconds, uh, then it will complete. So after complete, uh, then uh, that, that's all right. Uh, after completes, then it will show one window. In that window, there is one checkbox. So that uh, you have to uncheck that checkbox. So run quick start. After complete the installation, it will open new window. In that window, you, you will see uh, one checkbox. That is the run quick start checkbox. You have to uncheck that checkbox. Then click on done button. That's all right. So. That is how to. Uh, so this almost it's over. Eighty two percentage is over. So you wait a few seconds. So after complete, uh, then it will show that uh, finish window. Just to click on uh, done button. That's all right. So before, before click on done button, you have to uh, deselect that uncheck. Uh, you have to uh, uncheck that check box. So that's all right. Just a few seconds to complete. Almost done. Okay. So 
the WebLogic 10.3 application server has installed successfully, then this is the last finish window, done window, finish window, so last window. So here you can see one checkbox, uh, uh, run quick start checkbox, you have to uncheck that checkbox, deselect that, okay, then click on done button, that's all right. So now WebLogic 10.3 application server, we have installed successfully, if you want to verify, you can check that installation location. So we have installed the WebLogic 10.3 application server in G drive under G drive DEA10. Under that folder we have installed it. So go and check upon my computer. Go to G drive under G drive. See DEA10 under see it has installed successfully. Okay. If you want to verify, you can also check in control panel. Go to control panel. All programs programs and the features you can see programs and the features here you can see so already i have installed the logic 8.1 uh, we have installed the logic 10.3 so that you can see see oracle web logic this is a 10.3 so we have installed the success rate. Okay, so uh, this is uh, this session. In this session, uh, so uh, we have done how to install WebLogs 10.3 application server. So you follow the instruction properly and install in your system. In next session, I will show how to create a domain in the WebLogs 10.3 application server. Okay. So first step is over. How to install WebLogs 10.3 application server? Second, we will say in second video, I will I will show you how to create own domain in WebLogic 10.3. In third video, I will show how to integrate WebLogic 10.3 with my Eclipse ID. Okay, so this is my blog spot. You can uh, uh, I will upload uh, all software in this blog spot. You can get it from this blog spot. And this is my mail ID. Uh, if you have any queries, anything, you can uh, don't feel, uh, feel free to drop a mail. Then I will reply. I will check it once. I will reply. Right? So thank you very much for watching this video and uh, I have uploaded a lot of videos you can watch all are related to Java JWE so that uh, video will help you to understand everything properly so if you cannot understand let me know I will upload uh, videos uh, with a uh, uh, good explanation so thank you for watching subscribe my channel and share my videos to your friends um, okay so thank you